All right, billboarding. Okay, so how many of you have to help your child get out the door in the morning? Come on, people, every one of them. So one of my biggest issues I have with parents is they say that there's that fight in the morning of, come on, you gotta go, you gotta go, let's go, I can't, I can't. So there's a couple of rule of thumbs. We move forward, we never go back. Once your kid leaves the bedroom, that's it, done. They can't go back in the room. Move forward, guys. Cut off rooms, start shutting doors. <laughs> I'm dead serious, you think I'm kidding, okay? I do this all day long. So I had a mom who wanted to put like a checklist, and I'm like, no, oh, the checklists don't work. It becomes clutter, I might be lying. So here's what we did, particularly for middle school. Middle schoolers like games, they like fun. We gotta create some energy. So here's what we did. We put an analog clock. Everybody know what an analog clock is, right? The second hand goes around. Every house needs to have an analog clock. But we put an analog clock in every room that her child was visited in the morning. How many of you have an analog clock in your bathroom? Perfect. All of you get a gold prize. Every single one of you needs to have an analog clock in the room your child, the bathroom they use. It's the room they're in the most, okay? Because if they don't see time, it doesn't exist. So here's what we did. We put an analog clock in the bedroom, the bathroom, and the kitchen. And next to that analog clock, this is what we did. Now we made a game. You had to be out of the bathroom by 7.36 to get to the next, the next game. It was like beat the clock. You know, remember that game? Okay? But I gotta tell you, it took time, but it worked. There was none of this, you have to do this, get out, let's go, boo boo. None of that. It was, we gotta be out of your bedroom at such and such time, we gotta be out of the kitchen at such and such time, we gotta be out of the bathroom. And this hung next to the clock. So that, okay? Talk less, do more. Yes? Well, um, another way is to say talk five minutes ahead. So once you're ready, I think you can go back to the bathroom. Oh, did everybody hear that? Set your clocks back so that your kid is constantly in a rush. But they need to go. <laughs> so I'm telling you, billboarding is one of my favorite, favorite tools. We use it a lot. Because this is easy and it's fun. Is there What? The problem with digital guys is they see a digital clock. 7.15, they go out, they make a snack, they go to the bathroom, they text a friend, they come back, it's 10 to 8, and they are not seeing the sweep of time. We all got brought up on learning about the sweep of time. They don't see it, and time is three-dimensional. There's a beginning and an end, a middle. And it's not their fault, they're just not brought up that way. And, for, and, and what I'm doing with you all is I'm starting in the beginning. Your children have to understand time. They have to visualize it. And until they can visualize it, we can't expect them to manage it. Remember the 20 minutes? Okay, I ask them all the time, what does 20 minutes feel like? And they can't answer it, because they don't know. So analogs are the way to go. Analog is the only way that you're a student. Trust me, ask them about the analog clock in class, and they're like, I'm watching the time. You know? <laughs> they know, 